So what does it feel like walking in there? Because this is, uh, among all of the priests that we've had on the show, Yeah, you're the freshest one yeah. right now. Yeah. So you have like the clearest picture. Mm-hmm. What does it feel like? I, I felt like, okay, let's go get it. I didn't... Um, I knew I knew there there were a lot of people there, um, ready to pray and support with support uh-huh. us. Uh, for me, I was just thinking, um, well, you know, now's the time. Let's channel some inner peace and let all the graces that I could experience in this moment be present to me. Uh-huh. And so I tried my best to block out all the externals, all everyone cheering and yelling. Uh, I just <laughs> just wanted it to be just a, a time of peace. Uh, between Jesus and what he willed for me and just to experience that. Could you feel your legs where you're a little wobbly or? <laughs> There's a lot to be said about my legs during the, during the ordination. Really? Yeah. Um, if I'm not sure how many people were able to see it online, uh-huh. um, but during the prayer of ordination. Okay. Um, and let me backtrack. I knew that my knees may have some difficulty during ordination. So I went ahead and bought knee pads. Okay. So under, uh, here's a little trick. I, I, under the, uh, my alb and of course the chasuble that was placed on afterwards. Yes. Were knee pads. Okay. Right. A, attached to my, um, uh, suit pants under all of the vestments and stuff like that. Okay. So I had that taken care of because I knew that we'll be uh, kneeling a lot longer with yes. laying on of hands and yes. everything like that. Um, however, I caught a cramp maybe a third of the way through the prayer of ordination. Oh, no. Uh, so after all of the um, imposition of hands uh-huh. uh, by the priests, the was the prayer of ordination. Um, we remained kneeling. Um, I believe Chad, Father Chad was on my left. Um, Father Joseph, I believe, was on my right, but on the other side of the altar. Uh-huh. Um, everyone was just kind of kneeling peacefully. This is awesome. This uh-huh. is cool. Uh, let's let's just kind of remain calm and let God do his thing. Ah! Ooh. And then, you know, I just felt my knees buckling at that oh, point. Oh, no. Uh, my backside buckling. So everything was just kind of shaking uh, vehemently. And then I thought, okay, I can hold it in. I can hold it in. Father uh, Cardinal, keep on praying. Keep uh-huh. on praying. Keep on praying. You can move a little bit quicker now. <laughs> keep on praying. <laughs> and then I just couldn't hold it. So I thought, okay, I'm going to have to release it somehow. So yes. I placed my left leg at a 90 degree angle. Uh, okay. Just to, it was just it was upright. So I was definitely okay. kneeling on one leg. Okay. Um, but and I thought, okay, the pain and the cramping has diminished. I think I'll be fine. So I made the mistake of placing both, uh, uh, of, of putting the other leg, the one that I recently elevated back in the kneeling position. Um, and I think it felt like a minute or 10 seconds. I'm not sure how long that was. Um, but nope, cramp came back. It wasn't gone. So I remained, I placed that left leg up at that 90 degree okay. angle again and, and remained in pain for the rest of the prayer. Oh, wow. And how long was that? I, it felt like ages. <laughs> <laughs> Did you go back to the video and take I, a look at I, it? I have not gone back to the video at all. Wow. To, go, to look at it. I, I don't think the prayer of ordination took five minutes. But it, it felt it felt like 20 <laughs> I uh, was in a lot of pain. And what was it like getting up after that? Getting up was like, finally, thank you, God. I know this is, uh, he gave me what I needed. Just Uh a good dose of humility. Like never remember, never forget that uh, the priesthood (laughs) uh, is definitely going to be a journey and a long Uh journey. And although the rest of the guys are kneeling as they were supposed to, Mm -hmm. and you were busy trying to be as comfortable and get rid of the pain as much as you could that the priesthood is not your own. Did, did they know? Did anyone else know? Or you I, told them afterwards? I think uh, I, some guys caught it. Uh-huh. Uh, I know my aunt definitely caught it. Uh, I found out that my parents didn't realize it at all. I think they were in prayer mode. <laughs> uh, I think my brother caught it. Um, another seminarian caught it. Um, Chad, Father Chad definitely caught it. He knew something was wrong. I'm not sure about the other guys, but. Because it was on the other side of yeah, your body. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. Do you think now that you we should uh, you know, kind of tell the Cardinal 
um, Cardinal, maybe we should do a little yoga and stretching <laughs> beforehand. <laughs> maybe bring yeah. in a physical therapist. Yeah, you bring know. in a PT specialist. Uh, let's get in and let's do some. You let's know, do some stretches. Stretch you out like they do with the NBA players before oh, the game. Yeah. Like that would be hilarious. You know, he's like, um, you know, our future priests ready. You open up the door and they're stretching. You've got a PT <laughs> stretching their legs out. It's like, yeah, we're almost sure. ready. Exactly. Just got a few knots here. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> that would have definitely been beneficial. 